What's up everyone? I am Jamie with 3littlegoats.com. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. I'm glad to see you as always. So today we are going to be using some neon colors for our soap and we're fragrancing it with Island Nectar from Crafter's Choice which behaved perfectly and smells amazing. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So we are going to make some Island Nectar soap. I'm using Island Nectar from Crafter's Choice. It does have some vanilla in it, so I'm adding some vanilla color stabilizer as well, just so it doesn't darken up too bad. In here, I've already got my goat milk powder, my beer powder, and my kaolin clay. So I'm gonna give that a quick mix real quick. And for the colors, I'm using Making Waves by Nurture Soap, as well as Full Throttle and Material Girl. They're all fluorescent and I love them all. Now, I'm not going to try to make them super, super bright. I want them kind of subdued, but I still want them to be somewhat bright. So I'm gonna just give this a quick mix to get my powders nice and incorporated real quick. All right, and then we're going to add in our lye water solution and hope for the best. Now I just want to bring this to a very light trace. I'm soaping at about 90 degrees, so it's a little bit warmer than I like. So we're going to be cautious about this. And then I'm going to split my batter off so I can do the three colors. Now I want pink and blue to kind of be the main colors. And just a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit, not a lot. A mixy mixy. It looks like a yellow neon highlighter. I don't even think the camera is picking up on how yellow that is. And I mean, I used the teeniest amount of colorant. I mean, the teeniest amount. Good job, Amy, good job. All right, I'm gonna give these a quick blitz just to get everything nice and incorporated. Juicy fragrance. Hopefully, hopefully we play nice. And hopefully this doesn't turn it too dark. It's only got 1%, I believe, vanilla. So hopefully I won't darken it up too much. Oh, that smells so good, so good. Alrighty, so we're gonna do something a little different today. We'll see how it goes. And let me clean this mess up first. There we go. So I've just got some poster board as a divider here, nothing fancy. Just to kind of keep the colors that's not what I wanted to do. How rude. Blue, don't be rude. All right, so it's not going completely as planned, but I think, I think it'll keep them separated for the most part. I'm never fully prepared. I'm just going to take a popsicle stick. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to give this a light swirl. Oh, gorgeous. So gorgeous. Do I want to even mess with the top? You know I'm going to mess with the top because why wouldn't I mess with the top, you know? Alright, I'm gonna 
give this a quick spritz. And then I'm going to oven process this like I do majority of my soaps. I don't do it to all of them, but this one I will. If you don't know what oven processing is or want to learn how to oven process, I do have a video as well as a corresponding blog post that I will link down below as well as up in the corner of the video if you wanted to check that out. But don't go too far because, you know, after this, it is soap cutting day. So I will see you guys then. All right, y'all. It is my favorite day. It is a soap cutting day. And we're going to cut her open. Thankfully, the vanilla color stabilizer looks like it seems to have done a pretty good job at keeping the colors nice and vibrant. So let's cut her open because I'm very excited. Alright, who's ready? I'm ready. Oh, look at that. I absolutely love that. It reminds me of Superman ice cream. If you grew up in like Michigan and the Ohio, that area, you probably know what Superman ice cream is. And that's totally what this is reminding me of is Superman ice cream. And I'm here for it. She is still a little bit soft. So I'm gonna wait a day before I go ahead and clean up all the edges, but that's what we got, so I'll see you guys in the outro. Alright y'all, so that is what I've got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single Tuesday where we do homesteading vlogs. And then we do Soaping Saturday every other Saturday. I may make it a regular Saturday thing. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. How often you want to see soap making videos? And I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!